Mr. Stone, did you get your dry cleaning, sir? Mr. Stone? What? You're fired! Uh, Mr. Anderson and Mr. Thompson are here with the morning report, sir. Good morning, sir. We... You're wearing a dress. What's that? You're in a dress. I'm wearing a dress. Yes, sir, you're in a dress. You look lovely today, sir. <laughs> Thank you, Thompson. Here's the morning report, sir. Get back here! Sales staff, conference room, 10 minutes! Wilson, you in charge of the Phillips account? You're fired! Let me tell you a story, gentlemen. When I started working at this corporation, I was working in the mailroom. But I took some initiative. I put myself in the boss's shoes. And you know what, gentlemen? In 10 years, I was the boss. And now I'm wearing those shoes. By 3 o'clock, I want change. Stone, may I say that your outfit looks fantastic today, sir? You look wonderful today, sir. Uh, looking sharp, Mr. Stone. Mr. Stone? Mr. Stone? It looks better on you, sir. What's that? The dress. What dress? I'm gonna go change. Yeah, it is one o'clock. My three-inch stilettos were supposed to be here an hour ago. I need them now, pal! See, that's the kind of attitude I'm talking about. Keep up the good work, Thompson. Yes, sir. <laughs> sir, I, I, I was thinking that may, maybe... Get a backbone, Anderson. Be more like Thompson. You, Mr. Stone? Yes, what is it? Well, there was a mix-up with the dry cleaning. Sorry. You're fired. I don't work for you, but okay. I certainly hope you all took my little talk seriously. Who's got something? Thompson. Well, sir, I have a purple satin evening gown. It's simple and elegant. That's not an idea. That's a dress. You're fired! Who else? Mr. Stone? What is it, Anderson? Sir, I was thinking, if we shorten pencils an inch, no one will notice and we'll save $1.3 million a year. Excellent idea, Anderson. Everyone in a dress, you're fired! Delivery for Mr. Anderson. Is there a Mr. Anderson here? 